There we have it. Okay, let's continue. So today's learning objective will be to practice the use of vocabulary from the unit uh, to check for understanding. Okay, so uh, en, en resumen vamos a practicar el uso del vocabulario para chequear cómo vamos. So before we start, I have a little challenge for you. Tengo un pequeño desafío. And the this is called a riddle, yeah? Esto se llama un riddle, que es una adivinanza. So you have to guess what it is. So I am going to read the riddle and you have to guess, okay? So the riddle goes like this. I am tall when I am young. I am short when I am old. What am I? Entonces un objeto que ustedes tienen que adivinar qué es. So, can you guess? We are, we are going to have two minutes to guess the, the riddle. If not, I am going to show you the answer at the end of the class, okay? So, I am tall when I am young, and I am short when I am old. What am I? Pueden escribirlo en el chat o lo pueden decir. ¿Qué podría ser? What can it be? ¿Qué creen ustedes que podría ser este objeto que está describiendo acá? No sé, yo creo que más I don't understand. You don't understand. Okay, let's read it in Spanish. Okay. Entonces sería, sería así. Yo soy alto cuando soy joven y yo soy bajo cuando soy viejo. Entonces, ¿qué soy? What am I? So, I am tall when I am young and I am short when I am old. What am I? Short. Short. Any idea? Tienen alguna idea de qué podría ser? No, no, no. Okay, no. I am going to give you the answer at the end of the class. We have a winner. So Krishna, well done. You guess it. Yes, uh, for those who don't see, the answer for the riddle was a candle, o una vela. Porque la vela cuando están nuevas, son altas, y a medida que va pasando el tiempo se van derritiendo, por lo tanto se envejecen. So, excellent, Krishna. I am, I am, voy a escribir tu nombre, Krishna. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So I am going to add these like little games every class so you can participate, okay? So let's move on with the class. So until here, we have seen three content uh, during the unit. So first of all, we have seen the types of food. So what type of food have we seen? What types of food had we, have we seen? The type of food. We have two types. Which one? Do you remember them? Excellent. We have seen healthy. Sorry. Healthy food. And the other one, what was it? We have seen healthy food and healthy. And healthy. Unhealthy, as Maria as Maria said. Okay? And so here we have healthy food and here we have unhealthy food. So now can you tell me uh, can you name a healthy food? 
I need five healthy food. Can you name them? Pueden decirme cinco comidas saludables? Five healthy food. Orange. Okay. Apple. Banana. So orange, apple. What else? Banana. Banana. <coughs> Potato. Lettuce. Carrot. Carrot. Excellent. So mainly we have uh, fruits, vegetables, and water. Okay? Those are uh, the most common healthy food. Okay? Excellent, guys. So can you name unhealthy food now? Hamburger. Hamburger. Okay, what else? Pollo. Sorry? Pollo. Chicken. Fried chicken in specific. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. What else? Pizza. Pizza. Pasta. Yes. French fries. Potatoes. <laughs> French fries es papas fritas. Excellent. Ah, okay. Um, fried onion. Fried onion, okay. Because of the, the fat. Nuggets? No. Sorry? Nuggets? Okay, los nuggets, two. Excellent. Hamburger. Uh, okay, so you remember Chorizo, some of the... Chorizo. Chorizo. Okay, the that has a name, the sausage in English. What? In English, los chorizo o longaniza se dicen sausage. Clarita de cebolla. Onion rings, <coughs> excellent. Yes. Okay, so you remember each type of healthy food and unhealthy food. Okay, excellent. So also we talked about habits. So we have Healthy habits and unhealthy habits. Do you remember that? Do you remember? ¿Lo recuerdan? Yo no. Yes, no? no. Do you remember the healthy and unhealthy habits? No? So, healthy habits son hábitos saludables. Las cosas que te ayudan a tener una buena salud. The things that help you to be healthy. Okay? To be in good shape. And the unhealthy habits are those who doesn't help you at all, okay? That harm your health, okay? Los hábitos no saludables or unhealthy habits no te ayudan a tener una buena salud, yeah? So let's begin with the healthy habits. Can you name one healthy habit? Okay, washing your hands, excellent. Alimentarse saludable. Ok, eating Hacer healthy. Ejercicio. Excellent. Doing Dime exercise. Excellent. Cycling, going to the gym, drinking water. Excellent. Hacer ejercicio. Bien, mira, eh, doing exercise. Ok. So, those are eh, healthy habits. Yeah. Sleep enough. También dormir lo suficiente, no quedarse dormido a las 4 de la mañana viendo videos, jugando play. Mm -hmm. So you need to rest, you need to sleep enough, okay? And the unhealthy habits, can you name some unhealthy habits that you know? ¿Qué? Can you name? Some unhealthy habits that you know. Eat junk food. You can look at the picture if you want. Eat junk food. Eat junk food. So, Chelly, uh, what do you want to say? Okay, guys, so can you name unhealthy habits? Pueden decir algún hábito no saludable 
Can you name some unhealthy habits? Eat junk food. Ah, lo siento. Eat junk food. Comer Eat, junk food. Yeah. Eat junk Eating food. junk food. Excellent. Sí, no, no Tomar. Drinking alcohol. Okay. Tomar. That's drinking alcohol. Tomar. Okay. Eh, eating too much. Tomar. Also, tomar se dice drinking alcohol. Yeah. Tomar. Fumar. Smoking. That's too bad. Eh, doing drugs. Also, a uh, really harmful health habits. Watch too much TV. Ver mucha televisión. It's also harmful. Okay. So, uh, those are some of the unhealthy habits that we have seen in classes, okay? So, now, let's move on to the next one. Let's move on to the next one. The other aspects from the unit that we covered was to use should and shouldn't. Okay, so do you remember should and shouldn't? ¿Lo recuerdan? No, porque de Billy ya. When do we use should and shouldn't? De Billy ya y no de Billy ya. Okay, and what we use it for? ¿Para qué lo usamos en específico? Yo les dije que tenía una cosa específica. Para dar un consejo. Excellent. To give advices. Excellent, excellent, excellent. If I'm not mistaken, that was Robernal, ¿cierto? ¿Fuiste tú, Robernal? Sí, profe. Bien, bien, Robernal. So, we use a should and shouldn't para dar consejos, ¿ok? Recuerden que cuando yo me refiero a shouldn't... Es para debería. Shouldn't. Cuando yo digo shouldn't, es la forma abreviada de should not, ¿ya? Porque es should y should not, pero para decirlo de forma más acotada, yo digo shouldn't, ¿ok? So, we have should and shouldn't, and we use them to give, up, to give advices, ¿ya? Lo usamos para dar consejos. As you can see in the examples I wrote two, the first one says, you should eat fruits and vegetables. Tú deberías comer frutas y vegetales, okay? Another advice that I can give you, the otro consejo que yo les puedo dar, is you should drink water every day, ya? Tú deberías tomar agua todos los días. And on the other hand, I have Things that you shouldn't do. Ya cosas que no debieras hacer. For example, you shouldn't eat junk, junk food. Okay? And you shouldn't drink alcohol. So now, can you give me one example of any of these two? Un ejemplo de cualquiera de las dos, con should o con shouldn't. Me da lo mismo. Ya puede ser con should o con shouldn't. In a sentence. Pueden ustedes darme una oración. Dando un, un consejo. It can be about anything. Puede ser de cualquier cosa. But you, you, uh, you must use should or should not. No te escuché, Mati. No, no lo escucho. Eh, yo, yo, okay. No lo escucho. Excellent. You should go to the gym. The gym. gym. Excellent. Um, la que me dijo que no me escuchaba puede escribir en el chat, aunque se escucha bajito. Excellent. So the first. Tío, la que dijo que no escuchaba era la moena. Ah, ya. Yeah. Amando se está poniendo. Ah, creo que se le cayó el internet porque ingresó. Excellent. So, uh, Matías told told me uh, you should go to the gym. Excellent. Deberías ir al gimnasio. En el chat me están escribiendo. You should, you shouldn't smoke. Uh, eso. You shouldn't smoke. Okay. 
Eh, what else? You should eat fruits. Excellent. Veamos si nos llegan más ejemplos. So, congratulations, Vicente and Nicolás. Can you give me more examples of uh, Rafael Lopez? You should sleep early. Excellent. Uh, you should look for your You should sleep in early. Yeah. Okay, uh, Robernal, you would uh, you should drink milk. Okay, le faltó ahí el, el drink. You should drink milk. Excellent. Um, Tomás, you should look for uh, sleepy and I know. Okay, any other examples that you can give us? Any other examples? Let me see. Mm. You shouldn't smoke so much. I think it's not so much. You shouldn't smoke at all. Yeah? No es que no deba fumar tanto, es que no debieran fumar. You shouldn't smoke. Like, like never. Because it's too harmful. Okay? It's too noxious. Okay, so... Um, Uh, let me see, let me see. You should not occupy so much your phone. Okay, excellent, Kiera. Uh, you shouldn't eat so much junk food, it's going to hurt you. Excellent, Rafael. Okay, well done, guys. So now, since you already give good advices, we are going to move on to the Kahoot. So as always, if you cannot join the Kahoot, you can participate through the chat. And if you can join, I'm going to give you the code right now, okay? I am going to give you the code right away. And okay, so I am going to write the code in the chat. Sí, yes, wait, wait, wait. Tranquilo, se lo voy a escribir. Ya, ahí lo espamé. No que se pasa. <laughs> ok, there, there you have the, the code, ok. ¿En Cajul? Yes, el código está en el chat. And... There you have the Kahoot. So let me set the music off. Okay. So all we already have uh, Ever, Valencia, Mia, Benjamin, Lucas, Maria, Xiomara, Estefania, Krishna, and Nicolas Rojas, Kiara, Robernal, Rafael, Tomas, Edwin. 
So we are going to wait two more minutes before we start, okay? Okay, Santiago and I think Alexian, excellent. Chicos, solo un recordatorio, a los que no han puesto su nombre y su curso en el chat, recuerden ponerlo, si lo pusieron, no es necesario que lo vuelvan a escribir, pero siempre recuerden poner su nombre y su curso. Vicente Silva, excellent. So we have 17 players. Eighteen. Anyone else? Ya entré, Victory. Aina, Jose, excellent. So we have twenty-one, Antonella. Okay, so we are going to start in five, yes. four, tres, three. Two, one, and go. So, is chocolate healthy? Yes, no, not sure. No, excellent. Um, Victory. Yeah, Darin. Okay, yeah, excellent. Yeah, Nicolas yeah, Rojas yeah. is the first one in was the first one in answer. Okay, let's move on. So you use mask when you go outside. You should or you shouldn't. You should or you shouldn't. <laughs> you should always use your mask. Y esto es una enseñanza. Si salen, tienen que usar sus máscaras. Ay, con lo peor. Mascarilla. Always use your mask. Always. Let's move on. So, which food item is the healthy option? ¿Cuál es el saludable? Potato chips or potato? Which one? Which one? Eh, 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 eh. We can end. The potato, the potato chips are not healthy. True or false? Broccoli is healthy? Yes or no? True or false? Es verdadero. Yo cuando chico pensaba que la, que la papa en inglés se decía pototos. Excelente, true. Congratulations, Rafael, and Nicolás, and Maria. You are the top three. Let's continue. So, you should or you shouldn't drink alcohol. You shouldn't. Excellent, guys. You shouldn't drink alcohol. The next one, we are halfway. Which food item is the healthy option? Fruit snacks or strawberries? Strawberries, okay. The fruit snacks are gomitas, okay. That's a fruit snack. Excellent. So let's continue. You should or shouldn't exercise more. Mm -hmm. 
Excellent, you should. Ok. Yo sé que los que, los que tienen los porcentajes más bajos quizás se equivocan en, en apretar por apurarse. Maybe, but yes, it was you should. Ok. Voy a buscar dónde estoy yo. Eh, ¿Quién fue ese? Que aquí creo que no, se, no puedo ver la lista, solo veo los cinco players. Los cinco players. Los, solo cinco jugadores. Cinco, los cinco los mejores cinco. Exacto. Ok, number eight. Which one is the healthy option? Energy drink or milk? Milk, obviously. Energy drink are bad for your health, are harmful, noxious, whatever you want to say. Those are not healthy at all. Ok, let's move on. Oh, you are too close. You are two points away. Están a dos puntos de diferencia el, el primer y segundo lugar. Solo dos puntos. Ok, let's continue. Number nine. Pizza is not healthy. That is true or false? Eso es verdad, sí o no. La pizza no es saludable. Sí o si no. Yes, excelente. Porque aquí dice la pizza no es saludable. Entonces eso es verdadero. Sí, sí al, al statement. Yes. Ok, let's see. Let's see, let's see. The... Ok. <clears throat> Let's continue. Number 10. Do bla bla bla. Drink water. You should and you should. You should. Excellent. Oh. So there was a turnaround. So the next one, which food item is the healthy option? A sneaker or an apple? Apple. Un apple. <laughs> well done, everybody got it. Todo lo acertaron. Excellent. Excellent. So the next one will be the last question of the class. Okay, the next one is the last one. So, banana is a healthy snack choice? True or false? Verdadero. Is it true or false? It's true. Banana, nada, banana, nada. Porque la, el plátano o la banana es saludable. Entonces, sí, una buena opción. So, redoble de tambores. The winner is... So, in the third place we have a Maria, congratulations. Then Nicolás, and the first place goes to... Rafael López, so... Congratulations, guys. And thank you to Krishna and Vicente for participating too, okay? So, I am going to write your name. And Maria Gaete. No. Okay, so let's go back to the PowerPoint presentation. Let me close it. Sorry? No le, no, no le escuché. I couldn't hear you. Okay, so that will be all for today. And as I mentioned before, uh, this will be the last class of this unit. Okay, esta era la última clase de esta unidad. 
Uh, next week, we are going to start with the new unit, unit number three, okay? So I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy the class and I, I will see you next class, guys, okay? So take care and goodbye to everyone. So that was the class for today, okay? So you can leave now. Esa fue la clase del día, chicos. Muchas gracias por su participación y nos vemos la próxima clase. Ok. So, bye bye to everyone. And Adiós, tío. Bye. 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 Bye.